Hi, I'm Steven and today I'm going to be doing more stuff with the airbrush. I used it briefly but didn't show it for the Call Me Chris cape. But today I thought I was going to use it kind of what I thought I was going to use it for originally, which is making stencils onto a shirt. Uh, so I've cut out some designs. I was going to film this video yesterday, but now I'm just watching the sunrise. Oh, beautiful. Um, but yeah, so the first kind of uh, so the first kind of thing that I'm going to suggest is if someone's doing this is kind of create a theme. So I've gone with Norse. So that is the first one you can maybe see through it. Uh, then that's going to go here on the uh, where chest would go. I don't know crest chest. Uh, then this one which took way too long. Uh, da, 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 da. Then this one, also Norse. I believe this is either the realms. No, it can't be because there's not life of them, right? No, this can't be the realms. So maybe it's the tree of life. I'm not sure, but it's something to do with Norse. And then these designs, also part of Norse. So I'm going to do the front first, then the back, and then try and do the down the sleeves because I think I'm going to put these two down the sleeves and this will go around the bottom if I use it. But yeah, let's just get onto it. Wait, no. Um, I have, this is the stuff that I'm using. Uh, is that going to focus? Yep. So the instructions for it, uh, wash and dry fabric, this is brand new, so I don't need to do that. Place a barrier such as cardboard or wax paper between the two sides to prevent the paint from bleeding through. Very important, very important. Uh, apply your design to the fabric surface with a paintbrush or sponge. I can, this is, uh, I believe for, well, I bought it for uh, airbrushing, but I might end up having to mix it. Uh, which I have that for. Uh, with your design, remember this fabric paint allows you to mix colours for an even bigger palette. Allow your design to dry completely. Once dry, place a cloth over the design and iron for three to five minutes at 100 degrees to fix your design. So that's just make sure it stays there. <sighs> yeah. Let's just do it. Right, so I've put a bit of paint thinner into this liquid and put it in. So yeah, let's just go for it. All right, and that's the first one. So let's see how it looks. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted. So yeah, you can see pushing it down is really important just to hold it down and you can see these little small areas where I've not pushed it down hard enough or there's been a slight discrepancy within the, um, like where I've cut it. But, oh, yeah, I'm so excited now because I know this is going to look great by the end of it. Um, yeah, like I, like it said on the thing, you can you can also use a paintbrush and a uh, sponge brush. I think a sponge brush would be better than a paintbrush if you're gonna when you're stenciling because then at least you're not getting any brush marks or anything like that in it. But airbrush is obviously gonna be the best because you're just getting this is just the stencil. You're not getting any discrepancies. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna give this five, 10 minutes, I think five, see how, when it is, and then go for the back. Right, we are on to the next step, which whew, should be equally as challenging. Because these all end up lifting. So I'm gonna have to do it like this and be very careful.
Right, make sure that I've got no paint that can go on the fabric on my hands. Let's take this off. And there we go. See, the great thing about uh, Norse stuff is that it doesn't have to be accurate because everything was handmade. So you end up with really nice looking things and it looks perfect because it is perfect. But yeah, I'm going to leave this another five minutes, then try and work out how to do the sides because they're the big ones. Right, so this is one of the sleeves. This is going to be the most delicate one yet. So it's going to take a long time, most likely. And keep the fingers crossed. Oh. oh my god. That looks. I mean, it doesn't look perfect because of the amount of detail that it had, but for considering that's just with an airbrush, and this is my first kind of go at airbrushing properly, I think that's really good. Alright. So I'll do this now and then link it up when I can. Also looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap around here and I'm also gonna do that around the bottom of the shirt. You can't see it because it's not in frame, but yeah, gonna do that. And then I'm gonna clone this onto the other side. Not by flipping it over, just doing it the same way so it looks the same. But I could technically flip it over so then I have, um, they're both facing the same way, but I'm not going to. But yeah, let's flip it over and do that. I think I've got everything. Let's find out for sure. <laughs> when it's too late to change it. Somehow I think this one's actually turned out better. I think it's just because the stronger in the body. Um, yeah, all right. So I'm gonna do this one on camera and then I'm just going to film the rest off camera of me doing all these. I'm going to not film the rest even. When it comes up it'll be, no. no matter what I do it won't try and be tight.
So yeah, let me finish this off and I'll be back to show the final result. Right, and there we go. So we ha I've done this hatching all the way around and I've hidden it on the seam and on the left side because I was thinking if if you're right-handed you're going to use your right hand more therefore having the mistake well covering it up as much as possible would be on the left side because your left hand is more just to hold and steady things I think it turned out really 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 well I did not think it would be this good but yeah and there we go and this shirt cost four pound so it's making a personalized shirt from a cheap cotton shirt but yeah that's going to do it for this video if you liked please give it a like please consider subscribing and please leave a comment on what video i should make next it really helps out a lot see you in the next one peace